All right, here is just a quick little review of a 3D printed trailer for Core Class Optimus Prime, and that's exactly what it is. It's a small little gray box that you can attach to the back of your Optimus Prime Core Class figure. You can paint it up. I haven't painted this one yet, but um, it's from Trigger, and uh, it's your boy Trigger on Twitter. And we can, uh, you can go down there, not we can, you can look right down there in the video description. There's a link if you want to pick this up and print it for yourself. And now I had uh, some issues on my printer. I haven't, I haven't 100% perfected this yet. It's still kind of a work in progress in that the doors are supposed to, I've got to look, uh, you can see there's a hinge here. The doors are supposed to kind of pin in here and so you can open the back half up and fold this ramp down. And he can fit like a MicroMaster in the trailer if you want. Um, I have not been able to get that to work. I, I managed to get it where these tabs just fit in and then pop out whenever I try to move the, move the thing. So I, I just went ahead and glued this together because I'm not gonna be opening it up that much. It's mostly just a little visual, like most trailers for Prime, uh, a little visual bit there for uh, for his vehicle mode. But uh, if you get it working, you, could, you can uh, peg the gun in it's, this is supposed to peg the gun, and you may have to drill that out a little deeper than it is for the gun to peg in here and sit and make clearance. Uh, otherwise, the tip of it will push this back up a little bit. But um, Or you can just put it in the trailer itself. Now, I did go through the, the wheels are separate pieces, and you can just kind of plug in, and they can spin. Uh, they don't roll, roll, unless you sand them down a little bit, but they are free-moving there within the trailer itself. Now, and like I said, I'm fine with this. Just, oh, now Prime's got a trailer. We'll paint that the blue on there and put a sticker, you know, a little Autobot logo up here. And I'll be happy with it. Um, but it took me a few prints to get this done. There's also some little, and I haven't sanded these down enough yet, but there's some little posts that can slide up into there and support the trailer when it's not on him. So you get you get the trailer supports, which kind of work like that. Again, I need to sand the pegs down some, but you, you get the idea. Um, but one of the things I want to talk about is I did finally get it, and I, and I like this gray. I think once it's all painted up with the stripes, it's going to look okay with Prime. Uh, I originally printed it, and here's here's the inner detail. There's like a little, this is supposed to be a screen that's supposed to say incoming transmission on it. And you can kind of see that on this. Uh, my printer just didn't, wasn't capable, quite capable of printing those little letters without a lot more support and then a little tape deck looking thing. And the detail here on the ramp, you can see some of the glue I had originally on this one. But the first version... For whatever reason, the detail was on this bit, the, these uh, stripey lines and stuff. But when my slicer sliced it, it just made that smooth. I don't know if it was just they were a little too shallow and it didn't, and so it just translated them into smoothness. But whatever, I, I could literally watch them disappear uh, going from slicing to the final product. So I'm not sure why, but that's, that's an idea. There, there's a, you know, if you imagine the doors opening to the side. Uh, also, this is a little darker gray. You can print it in any color you want. I've seen a black version to go for a G2 Prime. But uh, th this ended up being a little too uh, dark metallic for me uh, in the long run. But the other issue was when I did print the second version of the trailer that where the uh, detail up here was working, I printed it in the same gray. And uh, and you can see the issue right there. The, the back doors... And the front half of this, this is all printed in the exact same gray plastic. It's a kind of a shiny metallic gray. Um, and you can see because it switches, it's just a matter of the orientation of the print. Because I printed this vertically like this, and I printed the doors on their side uh, to make so this detail would come out cleaner than if I had printed it sideways. Because you can see there's a, even on this one, when it has to make these little ridges with no support, it gets a little rough and you need to clean it up more. But yeah, but because of that, because of the shiny metallicness, and in the, the print orientation, the way the light hits it is different in this. Had I printed these straight up and down like this, or printed this on one side, they would, it would, they would match the same reflectiveness. But I didn't, so... But it's coming, to, coming together along here, and then we did the gray print, and there it is. So yeah, it just pegs right in there. I, I like that there's a little cutaway to allow it to swivel around his feet. Like I said, I don't know how much I'll get, how much use I'll get out of it. It's certainly going to go on him when he's in vehicle mode. If I put him in a display in vehicle mode, this trailer's going on him. But uh, just a fun little piece uh, from Trigger. And again, you can get the um, you can get the file if you have a 3D printer. I'll put the link right down there in the video description. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you have a good weekend.